how do we get to student planning? Well, first, you will log into your SEC portal and you will, you will choose student planning from the student menu. The term student planning will be located under the academic section. And that is how you will get to the student planning option. So what we're going to do is you're going to see several options, but for the purposes of planning your courses, we're going to click on student planning. And the steps to getting started will display. You'll see a couple options here, view your progress and plan your degree and register for classes. We will always highly recommend that you begin right here under view your progress because you always want to take your classes based on your academic plan. And this will help guide you in choosing courses, this option here. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can see that this person does have a spring 19 schedule. So that shows the student schedule below here. So we're going to go ahead and click on view your progress. And what will display is your degree and where you are with completing your degree. So let's take a quick tour of what's offered on this page. The first thing is it obviously says my progress, so that is what your progress is towards meeting your educational goals. Right below that, this is the degree that you are pursuing. And then right below that is an area called at a glance, and this gives your overall GPA so far, your degree, and the catalog year that you applied under. So if we scroll back up here over to the right again, view a new program is a really good feature if you want to see how your credits line up to fulfilling another degree. Some people call it the uh, what if scenario. Over here to your right is a bar graph. And if you scroll over that with your mouse, it will tell you what those bars indicate. So if I scroll over here, it says 33 credits are completed. And then 17 credits are in progress towards earning my degree. And 28 credits are planned, meaning that I have planned to take those classes, those 28 credits in another term. So that's basically it. It's just a cursory overview of how you are doing and earning your degree. The other thing that I wanted to point out, and I normally don't recommend this because I don't find help menus usually that helpful, but this help menu for this program for student planning is very helpful. So if you click on help, it'll have questions. You can click on the question and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. So be sure to take a look at that if you have any questions. want to print your progress towards earning your degree, you just click right here on the print button. So let's scroll through here. This is going to look overwhelming for some of you at the first glance, but what I encourage students to do is to scroll through here, click around, get familiar and comfortable with utilizing the tool. You are not going to break anything, so get familiar with the tool. What you see listed here are your requirements towards earning whatever degree you've signed up for. And you just scroll through and it tells you, here are the courses you've completed, here are the courses that you still need. Let me show you an example of a course you completed. So under here, Social Science Group 2 for my degree, it looks like I have completed one of one course completed, but I don't know what that is. So there is a link right next to one of one completed. You click on show details and it tells me that I completed Anthropology 102 and it gives my grade and it gives the year and the term that I completed that class and that's for Social Science Group 2. So that's how I see the grades and what I have completed. Everybody's degree, no matter what your degree is, is divided up by these fancy schmancy terms called disciplines. So what is a discipline? Well, a discipline is, like I said earlier, a fancy schmancy term for a subject area. We divide your degree up in disciplines. And within each discipline or subject area, you have to complete certain requirements. So if you scroll through, 
it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to complete that area. And that's why we want you to use your plan when choosing classes. Okay, so now we've looked at this, our degree plan, and now we're ready to start choosing some courses.